After months of battling it out on the campaign trail, it is now the voters who get their say, and they did in spectacular fashion. Lines wrapped around the block at some local polling sites, and some voters waited hours to cast their ballots. TV 1055's Jessica Layton is live on the east side, where people are still waiting in line to vote. Jessica? Wow. That's right here at this polling place. It's still about an hour wait just to get inside. I just spoke with an election volunteer inside who told me the scanners have been breaking down all day. They just weren't prepared for the number of people coming out. People that you can see are still lined up, wrapped around the corner down there. It's been a long day and it's not over yet. Political bribes are illegal, unless you're a mom waiting in line for two hours and need your two kids to cooperate. In that case, anything goes. We brought lots of extra special treats. So we've had Doritos, we've had gummy worms, we've had granola bars. <laughs> Whatever works, right? Whatever works. Samantha Schreiber has never brought sons Isaac and Solomon with her to vote in a presidential election, but she and others in this line that wrapped around two corners outside Yorkville Community School say there's never been an election like this one. I have to be able to say I did everything I possibly could. Standing in it, it's, uh, it's my duty, right? It's all of our duty. That sentiment was apparent across New York City and New Jersey, with polling places reporting record turnout. But from the Upper West Side... One scanner! ...to this school in Springfield Gardens, Queens... Come out and fix the machines so we could get these people out of there. Taking part in the political process wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Too many broken scanners, too many polling places that didn't open on time, too much chaos at the polls. And those problems led to people's patience wearing thin. I wanted somebody to come to this machine so we could do this. Because I'm not putting my ballot in no box. Y'all can do whatever you want to do with it. It's not happening. Wondering if their vote went through at a time they needed to count more than ever. Back on the Upper East Side, Samantha Schreiber is determined to stick it out in line, knowing there's so much on the line for her family. It's one of the most important elections that's occurred during my lifetime. So, of course, the polls here in New York closed at 9 o'clock, but here's the deal here. They put police officers at the end of the line, and anyone who was online by 9 o'clock is guaranteed to still get inside and cast their ballot tonight. We're live on the Upper East Side. Jessica Layton, TV 1055. Jessica, thank you so much. We have an update now. CBS News is projecting Hillary Clinton as the winner here in New York. Again, polls just closing moments ago here in New York, but CBS News projecting that she is the winner. Right now. Both presidential nominees.